Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to solve a partial differential equation where the question is z equal to px plus qy plus root of 16 plus p square plus q square. This is of the form z equal to px plus qy plus f of p comma q because the last term is a function in terms of p and q and for this the complete integral is replacing p as a and q as b so z equal to p x that can be replaced as a x plus q is b y plus root of 16 plus p square is a square and q square is b square this is our complete integral now we find the number of arbitrary constants a and b and number of independent variables x and y are equal. Now let us keep this as the first expression and we are going to differentiate one partially with respect to a other than a remaining are constant so z differentiation is 0 and ax will become 1 into x by is fully constant and root differentiation is 1 by 2 root 16 plus a square plus b square and this differentiation is 2a I can cancel these two and I can take this x to the other side so minus x is a by root of 16 plus a square plus b square by cross multiplication we get a equal to minus x root 16 plus a square plus b square let us keep this as the second expression in the same way we are going to differentiate the equation 1 partially with respect to the constant b. So z differentiation is 0, ax differentiation is 0, by differentiation is b is 1 and y is a constant as it is. Root differentiation is 1 by 2 root 16 plus a square plus b square and this differentiation by chain rule it is 2b. We can cancel this and we can carry this y to the other side. So minus y equal to b by root 16 plus a square plus b square and from this if I cross multiply b is minus y root 16 plus a square plus b square let us keep this as a third expression and we are going to substitute both second and third substitute both second and third in one so z equal to ax in place of a we have minus x into root of 16 plus a square plus b square so minus x root 16 plus a square plus b square ax so we multiply the x here in the same way minus y root 16 plus a square plus b square into y so we put this here and finally we had root of 16 plus a square plus b square as a last term so let us write it here root of 16 plus a square plus b square now this is by taking root 16 plus a square plus b square we get minus x square minus y square plus 1 by rearranging this we are going to get z equal to 1 minus x square minus y square we have written this term by rearranging it by keeping the positive term first then we have root of 16 plus a square plus b square now to get the singular solution we have to replace everything in terms of x and y 
So I need to find the value of root 16 plus a square plus b square. For that, let's take our expression 2 and 3. So we have expression 2. Let's write it again, which is a equal to minus x root 16 plus a square plus b square. And third expression, which is b equal to minus y root 16 plus a square plus b square and we are going to square this so when I square this we get a square equal to x square into 16 plus a square plus b square and b square will be y square into 16 plus a square plus b square when I add this we get a square plus b square equal to x square into 16 plus a square plus b square plus y square into 16 plus a square plus b square. Now to take common terms we have to add 16 on both the sides. So I put plus 16 here. In the same way I have to put plus 16 here also and the rest of the terms are written as it is. So 16 plus a square plus b square plus y square into 16 plus a square plus b square. Now we can carry this two terms to the other side and left hand side term is 16 plus a square plus b square is as it is then minus x square into 16 plus a square plus b square minus y square into 16 plus a square plus b square and on the other side we get only 16. Now from this we can easily take 16 plus a square plus b square common then we left with 1 minus x square minus y square equal to 16. Now let's take this to the other side. So 16 plus a square plus b square is nothing but 16 by 1 minus x square minus y square. So we have to replace in this equation in terms of x and y to get the singular solution. So let's keep this as the expression 4. So in the 4 I have to substitute the value of root of 16 plus a square plus b square. Now z equal to so from the fourth expression z equal to what are the first term present? 1 minus x square minus y square. So, 1 minus x square minus y square into root of. We have 16 plus a square plus b square, which is this. 16 division 1 minus x square minus y square. So, now we can take separate root for the numerator and denominator. This is 1 minus x square minus y square. This becomes 4 by root 1 minus x square minus y square. After cancelling this, we get, because these two terms are same, after cancelling get root in the numerator. Now, we have finally z equal to root 1 minus x square minus y square into 4. Now squaring on both the sides, z square is equal to 1 minus x square minus y square into 16 and we can carry the 16 here. So z square by 16 equal to 1 minus x square minus y square. Taking this negative term here, we get x square plus y square plus z square by 16 equal to 1. This is our singular solution. Now, 
to find the general solution we have to take this solution one and we have to replace b as a function of a so to find the general solution let's take the first expression which is z is equal to ax plus by plus root 16 plus a square plus b square this we are going to replace b as a function of a so z is equal to ax plus function of a into y plus root of 16 plus a square plus function of a whole square. Now, let's keep this as the fifth expression. Already we have named it till four expressions. So, let's keep this as the fifth expression. And this fifth expression, differentiating the fifth expression partially with respect to the constant a so other than a remaining as 0 this is 1 into x plus phi of a differentiation is phi dash of a and y is a constant remaining as it is root differentiation is 1 by 2 root 16 plus a square plus phi of a whole square and this differentiation by chain rule a square is 2a and phi of a whole square is 2 phi of a into phi dash of a and let's keep this as our sixth expression now from phi and 6 eliminating the constant a we get general solution.